My name is Mohammed. And my name is Haysan. Uh, we are a comic artist. When we were young, I was uh, drawing on the wall. Haysan was drawing on the wall. Me, I wanted to be a dentist. That's why I was saying for Haysan, uh, let's go and uh, do something else. Haysan was like drawing a lot. And every time he was drawing on the wall, my father came and said, Haysan, don't do ever this again, because the wall is really, this, uh, he make a lot of bad in it, bad drawing at first. But after this, uh, Haysan said for me, let's share this stuff together. And step by step, we started to be artists, uh, but not professional, like we are drawing, but professional way when we entered our Faculty of Fine Arts. The first comic from uh, 10 years is called uh, McBoy. McDonald's boy, he was like to going to McDonald's and drawing everyone. And he was like drawing everyone when he is in his table. And he made a first comics page and he was so happy. Wow, I made this comics and it was in McDonald's, my favorite place. And uh, I did some um, comics. It was about Egyptian guy. He, he fall in love with some girl, but this girl is loving the other guy. And some, it was like same story of me. So I find uh, inspiration from streets, from uh, character in Egypt, from cafes, from there and there. Uh, they inspire me a lot of uh, things uh, like expressions and the reaction of them. Every street in Cairo, you can have storytelling with uh, people. You can have stories, listen to this and listen to this. The most great in Cairo that you have, you feel that like so rich people and so poor people, that this contrast makes an inspiration for us in our stories. The comics is like a mirror of people, so when you have them, you, you have to see their facial expression, um, how they talk, how they react, how they acting, because it is always elements of comics. And when you are going to someone and say, this one I can draw him or I can draw her, without facial expression, without head, head stories. Without, without talking with him? Also. Yeah, without yeah. talking with him. We are making, going to some place and staying with their, these people and talk and talk, and it's also sketch every time with them. I can say a lot of people, Creative, a lot of creative people there in Egypt, in Cairo, in Alexandria, in other cities in our Egypt. But the most problem is is the production. You can say that not everyone have uh, the ability to make his own production. Yeah, that's why we encourage the underground artists to to bring their stuff and just don't think about production at all. Just come and your paper or your tablet, enjoy. what whatever you enjoy, and uh, just drawing. Uh, you can draw everything what you want and we can try to publish it online or you can publish it printed, whatever. But we have a lot of creative sure, artists in Egypt. Arab Springs influenced so much. Uh, you know, 2011, 25 of January, when we did the revolution, it was a political revolution against authority. But uh, lost yeah, we lost a lot, a lot of friends, but this is the make a motivation for us uh, or made a motivation for us to keep going and making the best uh, for them, for people who killed by authority uh, or ex-authority. That's why we, we were going to the, um, the streets and doing um, graffiti, street art, um, uh, performance art, uh, theater in the streets. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, this is a cultural revolution. It's not just a political revolution. We changed it a lot. After the revolution, we had like six um, version of comics. It's every three months. Our future, um, our uh, dream in future to, to print a lot of comics uh, magazine, not just the garage, we have our own ga garage and we have Kaukabar Samin, but we want to be in charge of an underground artist to produce a lot of comics magazine in Egypt. In France, at, uh, as example, we have 350,000 yeah. version per year. So we want to this number in Egypt and we want to have all of this production uh, with them. That's our dream because commerce in Egypt is going to be grow up and grow up uh, time by time.